Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. The following video will show the install procedure to enable an unique AFS file in the Utility Server Virtualized Enabled Application. The video that you are viewing will demonstrate how to install the AFS authentication file in the Utility Service's virtual appliance. The process will be performed using the CLI of the Utility Server Virtual Machine. The Utility Service's virtual appliance is delivered with the common default authentication file with the AFID of 71 followed by 8 zeros. That file provides for Avaya's services access into the Utility Service's application. But because that file is not unique, the same default file is used on all system platform installations. And for that reason, it must be changed out as in system platform because it is an open security hole if the key is broken for that particular file. So with all systems existing with an AFID of 71 with the, the eight zeros, please be sure it is changed out to a unique file from rfa.avaya.com in the AFS subsystem. Understanding the security sort of concern a bit now, we'll follow the next step to install the unique authentication file from AFS. We will first transfer the file to the slash temp directory. It will then be renamed using standard Linux commands so it is syntactically correct for the installer tool. After that we will perform the installation and then we will validate the install by performing an SU to the init login and examining the AFID that has been generated. As shown in the screen, I have previously logged into the shell of the utility server using the customer login of admin. I have issued an SU to the init login and note the AFID is a default product ID previously noted in the earlier section. I have opened a WinSCP session to the utility server in a separate window, which I have brought up here. I have set the receiving directory on the server to slash TMP. I could have also selected the slash opt slash VSP directory. Both are valid locations as the installer tool looks for the specific file name in either to install from. Following the instructions in the Utility Services Deployment Guide, it shows to rename the file to the syntax of ASG underscore AUTH underscore file dot XML. I will rename it after I transfer it to the slash temp directory on the server. You can see that I have copied and renamed it in the left pane. I could copy the renamed file, but I will copy the original to the Linux server. I have logged back into the Linux shell as admin and have changed directory to slash TMP. Issuing the ls command, Note the authentication file in the upper left output. Using the Linux MV command, I am renaming the file to ASG underscore auth underscore file dot XML, which is a syntax that is required by the installer tool. The next step is to issue the install command, which is slash opt slash VSP slash VAMI underscore set underscore ASG. It is strongly suggested to issue the full path name as listed. The installer will extract the Base64 encoded file. Once it installed it, it will stop the Tomcat service and then go ahead and restart the Tomcat service. At this point we should now have the unique file in place and we can test it. To validate the new AFS file install, I have entered the command su minus init and pressing enter shows us that the new AFS file is in place and its unique ID is 7003727576. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.